still on the landmass of Africa, although we were taken to the Caribbean. You understand? So we're all the same people. Go back to James chapter 1 verse 1. This is what the nations have done to us. This is what the nations have done to us. This is why we don't know who we are. We go around thinking that we're Jamaican. Read. The book of James chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So you identify with Benjamin because we're from the West Indies. We're scattered abroad. Why are we scattered abroad? Because we broke the commandments. Give me Psalms 147 verse 19. All right, sisters, how you doing? Brother, sister, how you doing? You got a fly? Yeah. Right, well, you, you kind of look young. Have you just finished school? What? I don't want to... You look very young. Have you just finished school? What? You just broke up? Are you both in school? Are you, are you still in school? You left school? What are you doing? In college? All right. So, do, do you both believe in God? Do you believe in God? Do you go to church? You're Israelites. Oh, so you know who you are? Yeah. Alright, so how long have you known that you're in Israel? How long have you known? How long have you known? Uh, and sister here, she knows as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, are you related? No, no, no. My wife. Oh, it's your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, watch this now. Um, give me Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. So this is what, you are the head of your wife, right? As an Israelite man. Now, do you believe in the Bible? Because you say you're an Israelite, you must believe in the Bible, yeah? So we're going to a book of Moses called Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter and the 5th verse. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, Nathaniel, with your daughters, you must instruct them that they don't do this. Read it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, I have your name, Nathaniel. So, sir, what's your name? What's your name? Caleb. Caleb. Strong name. And your wife's name? Amber, Caleb, Amber, and Nathaniel. So, Nathaniel with your daughters, Caleb with your wife. Read this again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, a woman should not wear, wear, wear. It's talking about something we put on our bodies. Shall not wear that which pertaineth or belongeth unto a man. Well, let's not stop there. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man is not to put on a woman's garments. You understand? Why? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So Israelite man, Israelite woman. Caleb, Amber. You know you're Israel. We must keep the commandments. So now that you've heard this, have you heard this before? Yeah. So, can I ask you a question as to why your wife is wearing that which pertains? I'm, I'm trying to get out of it. You're trying to get her out of it. So what's the problem that you can't get your, your wife out of pants? Do you realize the seriousness? If, if Christ was to come back now and catch your wife in pants, give me that. What would happen? Yes, listen to your, your Lord, he's telling you it's serious. It's telling you that it's serious. Seven, I want an eight. So, Nathaniel, with your daughters, make sure they don't fall into this sin, all right? And Amber, right? Listen to your Lord, right? Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So this is talking about when Christ returns. When Christ returns. All right, Nathaniel? When Christ returns, don't get caught out with this thing. Read. That I will punish the princes. So it's going to punish you. You must know that you are a prince and a princess of the Most High. But he's still going to punish his children who are disobedient. Why? Read. And the king's children. Read. And all as such are clothed with strange apparel. So it's strange apparel, Amber, for the Most High to have his daughter wearing that which pertains unto a man. It's an abomination. So your Lord is telling you it's a serious thing. So you understand that it's a transgression of the law, what you're doing? Do you understand that? So what are you going to do? You're going to stop. Excellent, you're going to stop. So I'm glad to hear you. Now, sir, when you go home, help your wife to come out of those pants. You understand? 
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.